Okay, so let's explore the rest of the Wistful Wild. For those of you who are interested in my audio recording updates, uh, Audacity was going quite quickly, considering I was at... Oh wait, this is an electric gate and there's no other way to go, whatever. Um, Audacity was going quite fast, considering there was a virus scan, so... I'll take that as good news. I probably don't need all the whites anymore. And it's actually probably a less than brilliant idea to use whites to kill these guys. Can I hoist them up this way? Yes, I can. Uh, this really isn't that big of a level. I don't know what I was complaining about. It's kind of confusing if you don't know what you're doing, but... A lot of video games have that, um... Characteristic. Okay, I wasn't really using an abundance of those, but I was using some, I guess. You know, I'm not even going to count it as a cheat when you use the two captains to absorb those sprays twice, because that's how the Pikmin do it. That makes sense, kind of. Okay, you don't need to do that. I said you don't need to do that. Poor little Pikmin don't even know what the word don't means. So, I think I'm going to pull out... 50 yellows and 10 purples. That sounds good. Not sure why I'm intentionally crippling myself a plot 90 yellows so I get that dumb gate out of the way. Quickly. Actually, my good sir, Hoplotate, you may take the purples considering you are basically a purple Pikmin in a spacesuit. And you may take the yellows, considering you have experience with Pikmin and the yellows in Pikmin 1, and they remember you and aren't afraid of you like they are of Louie and the President, because both of which probably want to eat them. Not that I can blame them, Pikmin looks pretty delicious if you ask me. They're pretty much like tofu if you want to eat meat, but you're a vegetarian. Look no further than Pikmin. I guess maybe vegetarians more against eating sentient creatures than meat, but whatever. Okay, so I hope we- I mean, if I wanted, I could pretty much beat the entire level today if I can find the treasures, because the only other thing going on is the, um, caves, and those don't take up any time in the day, and I still have a fair amount of time in the day. And why don't they make the thump, 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 thud, thud, thud noise when they drop down from there? And why did I drop down from there? But it doesn't make sense. They are suddenly heavier just because they want to move their weight or something. Look, frog, I'm here. You... Time to be killed by me. Okay, just staring at me. That's a little bit creepy. Whatever, I won't hurt it if it doesn't try to attack me. That is what is known as being a dick. And it is a very, very good idea in video games, but whatever. I don't want to sit through that pseudo cutscene. Oh, and here is the last treasure that I didn't know where it was, and now I know where it was. And this is also the way to get to one of the caves. I think it's the one that isn't notable for being the one with Louie in it, or the one that is too hard. It is just one with a Sonic-type crawfish in it. And I like that boss. It is a Sonic-type crawfish. And it is one of the bosses that are weak to purples, which is kind of all of them, but okay, whatever. And that thing doesn't really stand much of a chance. The other one might. It's not really fair. They spawn in an area with the creeping Crithum, but... They're not really a big problem with purples, and the Chrysanthemums are pretty, um, pretty lenient. Just watch you instead of waking up. That might wake it up. Yes, that certainly woke it up. Okay, I stunned it in the middle of a weird animation, and it looks weird. Man, that thing was stunned for a long time. I guess because it's made out of puffy airs. And that was not a very long time. Oh, it probably got stung when I was throwing things on the Chrysanthemum. Wake up. Such a fair Pikmin color. 
And there is the last treasure. It ate an acorn for some reason. Acorns are not good for you. Silly Krithnanthan anymore. So why haven't any of these evolved in real life yet? I'm gonna be like a bio biological engineer just so I can make crap like that. A pine cone. I mean conifer spire. Anyway, dang, we got all the treasures. I didn't want to have no excuse to not do the, 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 the caves. What is up here? This is notable. Oh yes, this is a landing site from or the crash pad or whatever bloody heck it's called. This is completely preserved from Pikmin 1. That is something from Pikmin 1. I would need to zoom out more to remember. Yeah, I think the ship was right up here. The onions were where these chrysanthemums were. This was... I'm not sure. They might have just sort of given up on recreating some of it. I'm not sure. This is kind of like where that... It's not an exact replica. That was kind of like the thing where you walked up on, and you have to, it's really convoluted to get up here. Back where Olimar is, you have to bring all your Pikmin you want to bring down here up this chute, and I suppose, uh, I don't know, it's kind of late to be trying a cave, but I might do that one that I was just talking about because it's the easiest out of all the caves in this level, in my opinion and would probably take the least time. And I'm gonna do the Dream Den last, not because it's particularly hard, but because it is a good cinematic ending. So anyway, yes, yeah, so a lot of these yellows remained with Olimar, apparently. Whatever, I'll get this cutscene out of the way and I'll have... Uh, I keep being bad at managing my Pikmin before going into holes. I'm hearing a... Yeah, this is the Cave of Beasts, I think. Now at 40. 37. Oh, last treasure. Yeah, this did not have particularly well-guarded treasures. I mean, I was terrified of everything in my first run-through, but... Pretty simple. I mean, I'm seriously done with everything but caves now. Uh, yep, that killed the radar. So, I'm just gonna go to Sunset to make it easier to dole out my Pikmin later. Uh, it's dole used in that tens. I'm never sure with words. Too wordy. Toadie's report. Who's Toadie? I've always wondered that. Is he like the computer? Alright, I have a few more yellows, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm going to prep school, Mama said I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. I like how you never respond to the email and it's highly implied Olimar doesn't care about anyone but himself because he's a butt. There's way too many treasures in the dream den. That's just because the final boss has like six treasures sitting on it, five maybe. But yes, I will be going into the Cavern of Chaos, I'm pretty sure that's it, and dealing with what goes on in there uh, in the next part, and wish me luck, because I will certainly need it.